everyone and welcome back here to the Rim World. Right, so I've taken a little bit of time between episodes to lay out some plans. First of all, I've laid out a wall and a potential killing zone here, which we shall build up that to help protect protect us against attacks. And I've also laid out a little bit more of my intentions for this internal area. So uh, the, the area that's being dug out at the moment we're going to use is a massive freezer to store stuff up for the winter. And the uh, the room behind it is going to be a, a growing area. When we research hydroponics, we'll dig that out. We'll put hydroponic... Uh, um, we'll put hydroponic... Uh, what's the word? we put hydroponic tables there we go sorry we will put hydroponic tables there and um, then they can grow the food and drop it directly into the freezer and then behind that we'll start building some bedrooms so the reason I put those there is because of this corridor we're gonna have going around the the freezer in the hydroponic area now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the heat exchanges that are refrigerating the, the food to heat up the corridor and the corridor then will heat up the rooms a little bit so we're gonna save on fuel and energy and time just make uh, everybody's life uh, a little bit more comfortable by using the stuff that keeps us cool to keep us warm and likewise we need to start looking at our uh, uh, energy generation. We only have this one wind turbine at the moment and the problem with this one is it's uh, blocked by a lot of pine trees. In fact I've just noticed that one's just grown there um, right in front of our door which is a bit of a pain. So first thing we're going to do is cut plants. Let's cut that one and uh, Ben, old chap, if you would kindly cut that, so that, that down then people can get in and out. And We also need to get rid of these other pine trees as well which is going to increase the efficiency of this wind turbine also while we're at it let's build another one so wind turbine there orders to cut the plants around it and most importantly let's connect it up to uh, the main power and also while I'm thinking about it we need a little bit of a power cable there to uh, get that working so that's uh, our immediate plan sorted out we need to get this room mined out so we can set up a proper refrigerator that built that built and all these trees cut and once that is done we can start concentrating on perhaps making these bedrooms which uh, seems like a, a good idea that's uh, at the moment Herdina is uh, going to be uh, a recruited by us hopefully it looks like she's going to be fairly easy to recruit uh, that one is not going to be too bad and then she's going to be, become part of the team the big problem we have at the moment is Emmy has infected, gained an infection so we need to deal with that immediately so we're just going to grab another sleeping spot we'll put it up here we will mark that as a medical bed and ask Emmy to prioritize receiving treatment and Clara when she's uh, made a couple of meals will go there treat her and uh, hopefully she'll get better so let's get the game rolling there's Emmy she's gonna have, have a little lie down a little bit of a heel there goes Clara going over to treat her and Ben I know you're a constructor but I think what we need you to do as a priority is get rid of some of these trees so let's Prioritize cutting that one. I think that's the the one that's blocking there. Uh, you should see a little bit of jump in power when he's done, if that is the case. Uh, and are we? We are nope. We are no longer blocked by a pine tree, and that's jumped up. That's excellent. Right, you get on with that. Emmy has developed an infection in her stomach. Fortunately, Emmy is being treated right now. Let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, we've got rid of all the bleeding. That's a good thing. And hopefully Clara will be treating her infections as well. Alright, so that's, that's what I'm treated. And come on, let's do the other one. There we go. Right, Emmy is now treated. She's probably going to have to go back and get treated again 
fairly soon. Basically, infections are um, a medicine sink. They you know, keep you using medicine until the person gets uh, an immunity. So, come on, Emmy, recruit Herdina. We could use her. Not this time, but a 32% chance is fairly good, I would say. So, how are we doing? Right, we have that heat exchanger built. And its current usage is high. Um, don't think we actually want to use it at the moment because we're using this area as a bedroom, but. Uh, doesn't seem to be getting the temperature down well enough yet so we'll turn it off and we will put some more in we need to at least put another one in over here and to and uh, probably some more to be totally honest with you, because this is a fairly large area we're gonna to need to work hard to get it refrigerated but still that's that done and hopefully we'll start mining at the moment who is our miner uh, our miner is Emmy, who is concentrating on being a warden and growing. That's not good, really, is it? Um, ben, if you're a constructor and then you jump to growing, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you less of a grower and more of a miner. There we go, that should help us out. What's the problem? We don't have enough people. Ooh. Emmy successfully retreated. Hadina! Right. That's going to change your plans, hopefully. All right, so. All right, firefighting and patient. Who's the better warden? All right, you're slightly the worst warden, so uh, we won't ask you to do that. Who's the better hunter? You're slightly the better hunter, so you are now our hunter. That's uh, one less job for Ben to do. That's excellent. And you don't like any of this, but you like plant cutting which we could use a lot of at the moment. Crafting, which will make a two. Hauling, which will make a one. And we'll worry about the rest later on. So if you're not hunting, then you are plant cutting. If you're not plant cutting, then you are hauling. If there's no hauling to do, you do our crafting. I think that's gonna be good for us. And we'll just make these four. So if, anything, if all the others run out, you are then doing the stuff that you don't particularly like doing. Excellent. So oh, that's that sorted out. And what can we give you in terms of clothing? And it would appear that the answer is nothing. What do you got on at the moment? Right, you have a cloth button down shirt. That'll do you for a minute, but it's not going to help you come uh, the winter. So getting you clothes is going to be quite important, I would say. Let's make you another sleeping spot for you here quickly. Then. You are there sorted, and all right, Clara, you're our cook. What weapon are you using? Right, I want you to drop that. And Herdina, when you cut through that tree, because that's absolutely excellent. Oh, not very quickly, are you? I hope you assume you'll get better with time. I'm hoping you'll get better with time. Let's speed this up a touch. Right, okay. Um, Equip that pistol, there we go. Right, you now have a weapon. Right, so we're chugging along nicely. Okay, we got that one uh, wired up. It's blocked by several pine trees, but uh, Odina's going to help with that. Ben is digging his way merrily through there. Clara is healing Emmy, which is brilliant. Let's have a look at Emmy and see how she's doing. No, that's not a wind turbine. Let's have a look at Emmy. There we go. Right, okay, so you are. Right, your infections are getting worse, but they've been treated, and that's the important thing. And you're relatively happy. I wouldn't say great, but uh, relatively happy. Uh, one thing we can do here is. Let's get some light in the sleeping area. And there, that'll do that. Um, we also need to, I think, get rid of some of this stone. So if we put holding orders in, get rid of this horrible stone. That should make people a little bit happier as well, just to make the area look a bit nicer. And one thing we need to do as a priority is get a some trading setup. So if we get that built, 
right, an orbital trade beacon which we shall put over our storage area there and a comms console which we should put in there like that and that looks like that is going to nicely get its power out of the other room which is excellent that's that sorted out so Ben when he's finished mining will probably jump on and start there we go he's off building comms console so good start there this uh, wind turbine now is now producing some uh, lovely power. Still blocked by a birch tree, but it looks like that's the only thing blocking it. So, you know, Herdina is going to help us out there a lot. She's also going to clear down here. That's going to give us a lot of wood to build with. And we have light. Excellent. And Ben, before you get too far, as your nearest. Oh, we have a combat supplier passing overhead, so that's good. Okay, we can't sell you anything, but do we have anything that uh, you have that we want to buy? It doesn't matter because we don't have any silver yet, so... Uh, right, she's building the orbital trade beacon anyway, so that's, that's good. When it's done... Who is going to be our, our talker? Who's our warden? Okay, so it's Emmy. Emmy the sex knife is going to be the one to talk to people. Which makes sense to a certain degree, doesn't it? Okay, that's looking a bit better. We now have a trade beacon so we can actually start trading. We have very little medicine, uh, so I think let's grab a little bit more of that. Um... He's not particularly interested in anything we have, which is a bit of a problem. But do you have anything that we could use? I mean, we have a little bit of money left, so perhaps we can pick up a weapon. And the only real weapon here is the combat shotgun, which actually I think I'm going to invest in. Okay, so there we go. Right. Now. Uh, Hadina, you're a hunter, so after you've eaten that, why don't you equip that shotgun? Clara, actually, Emmy, let's have a quick. Are you a brawler? Is that why I gave you the knife? No, you're not. Okay, so as you're not the cook, you are actually more likely to be involved in combat, so why don't you equip the pistol? And then, actually, why don't you sell the knife? because quite frankly we don't have much and that's a plasteel knife so it's going to sell for a bit so all told I think we've made a profit there there we go right Ben is still tunneling, uh, tunneling away there we should have that room done fairly soon and then we can start working on the other stuff Emmy is still being treated that's possibly a good thing we bought that medicine hopefully she will get uh, immunity built up fairly soon because it would be terrible to lose uh, poor Emmy this early in the game especially from a stomach infection though no, it's, it's actually worth pointing out in a diarrhea yeah it's uh, in the western world it's an inconvenience um, in you know, poorer parts of the world it kills and let's face it this is a poorer backward part of the world effectively you know, we, these people have been dropped in the middle of nowhere and are making a world for themselves Still, they're doing a good job. Clara and Emmy are making us lots of food. Clara's doing some research now, which is excellent. Ben will finally get this room done. Eventually. And if you look here, we do actually have a lot of food floating around. So yeah, our immediate goals are working out quite well. And we nearly have that room done. It's so close. A group of travellers from Farmer's Village are passed by. Emmy is still fairly sick. Where are you, my dear? Oh, there you are. Right. Don't know what you were doing, uh, but what you are going to do is prioritise receiving treatment. Let's have a quick look at your health. What state are you in? Okay, so you have a major and extreme infections. So, Clara... Let's heal Emmy because we can't lose her. Very glad I bought that extra medicine. Yes, stand on her Dina and heal Emmy. Why don't you? 
we really need to get her sorted out. It's as simple as that, really. Right, that's that left you. Um, oh, excellent. You've developed immunities. That means you are going to be getting better now. Right. Another five minutes to go. Let's see what we can get done in this area. It'd be absolutely excellent if we could get the... Um, chilled area sorted out but we're going to get the purple forest people attacking us or rather the purple forest person attacking us okay let's let him come closer all right okay and you guys let's draft you all and let's find a suitable spot for you which is let's let's get you down here by the tree line, shall we? So Herdina, you've got a combat shotgun, which is a nice damage weapon, but not much range. Clara, gonna undraft you because you don't have any items, uh, any weapons rather. Ben, with the Lee Enfield, you go go next to Herdina and Emmy. With pistol, uh, it's not really much of a good plot swap for you. So just go there. Where's he gone? Oh, he's gone round that way, is he? In which case, let's move you guys up to here. It's too far away. Let's get you closer. Emmy, why don't you come here? And Herdina, you go one above. Ben, kindly don't shoot them while they're moving forwards. Now they move forwards. You can move forward. Yeah, we're going to have them out in no time. And poor Emmy, I think, has taken a bit of damage there. Yeah. Uh, a cut to your torso. That's not the end of the world, but let's get you treated. And Herdina. Let's capture Lapwing, and you are now undrafted. Actually, let's undraft you. And then rest until fully healed. There we go. I don't know if it makes a difference. A few little bits and pieces there. And Herdina, thank you very much. Back to work. So, incident, interestingly, he can, he must have come all the way up here and across, so we we'll need to bear that in mind when dealing with this, until those wheels are, are built. Right, Clara is not a good doctor, but she seems to be doing the job, and this room is almost finished, which is marvellous. Let's get some more stuff hauled. Like that. I want to build a pillar in the middle. This room shouldn't collapse, but uh, I'm a little bit paranoid about that sort of thing. So let's put a wooden pillar in the middle. Then we can get that bit of metal there mined. Which is better than leaving it in the wall. And we can also start thinking about this corridor. So we can start getting some... Uh, bedrooms created which is going to be an important part of the game all right lapwing let's have a quick look at you prisoner let's, let's have a quick look at you first are you incapable of thumb labor or social you're a masochist and a proselophile you're a good grower but a reasonable miner and you have passion in that which possibly what we'll use you for you're not great, but at the moment we are desperately in need of people. So let's actually try to recruit you. And we'll do it with a friendly chat, but we won't waste any medicine on you. We 
go. And Emmy is back to uh, good health. Uh, her fourth, right fourth toe has been shot off, and she has a scratch scar, which is a a shame to uh, to yeah to yeah, mar that beauty. But oh, it's not going to help her in this harsh frontier life now, really, is it? So there we go. Right, we now have that room sorted out. So let's get that zoned. Uh, stockpile and what I want to put in here is we'll make that well clear that all make priority preferred so we we'll store stuff in here we shall store foods but I don't want to restore meals in there okay. we will just make a few meals and eat them as fast as possible uh, this will be for long-term storage of food and Corpses. Mm. No. We should make a point of butchering corpses as fast as possible. And this one. Storage. We shall take raw food off of there. Which means this food now will no longer be spoiling because it will go in here and get frozen. Which means we should toggle the power on that. A target temperature we would want is let's put this down to minus one. That should freeze things. I don't think it's going to manage that, but it'd be interested to see how close it gets. And it's chilling things down a little bit. That's not doing too bad, is it? Might have to move the beds. Yeah, that's not nearly enough. So I think what we'll do here is we will uh, let's put another chiller in place. So we'll mine one there, and might as well turn that off. We'll, we might as well save that power, and let's get in place another cooler. We're also going to need to extend the power conduit. We might as well run it up there like that. There we go. Right. And there's our food being stored. Unfortunately, it seems to be stored on Herdina's bed. So I think it's time we stopped using that. So next episode, our priorities will be precisely that. Let's get some bedrooms sorted for these people so that uh, they're not sleeping on sacks of potatoes, really, Joe. Okay, right, that's uh, uh, 20 minutes up. In fact, it's a little bit more than 20 minutes up, so... Lapwing has developed a major infection in his right arm. Okay, let's deal with that. Do we have enough medicine? I don't think we have enough medicine. I'm afraid, Lapwing, you're going to have to tough through that one. We'll leave it like that. If you do become a member of the colony, you get medicine. We will treat you. Who's having a mental break? Ben, what's up with you, Ben? Sherry bedroom, ugly environment. We need to sort all this out, but... We're, we've just done one of them because you're now no longer sleeping outside thanks to this which we'll turn off there we go job done i'm not going to unpause it because something else will pop up so uh, there we go i've been simon parsons this has been the room world i hope you enjoyed it i certainly have please leave uh, a like and subscribe and all that and don't forget to vote for the wednesday live stream thank you and good night good night